Many of you will go to sleep and you will wake up from this encounter with many visions. Listen, never execute anything you see until you verify it with the word. I need to give you this disclaimer. No matter how accurate what you have seen is, when you get up, do not execute until you can support that vision with scripture and where possible, seek godly counsel. I'm saying this to you because there are many people an impartation like this is very risky because when your eyes are open, you will see all kinds of things and Satan can appear as an angel of light. Are we together? Yeah. The devil can appear as an angel of light and want to manipulate the sincerity of your passion to see. And you may see things or God can give you correct visions. And here comes Satan with wrong interpretations of it. And you will carry a wrong interpretation and connect it to a correct vision. And it will end up misleading you and misleading others. No matter what I see, I have to confirm it with scripture. And where it is beyond my spiritual level to interpret, I will consult with those who have gone ahead of me and open up my heart and say, I've seen something like this. Sir, what do you see? What can you say about it? And sometimes they will say, don't worry. Give me a few days. Let me pray about it. Ah, this is what you saw. This is what you saw. Never be too big to be guided. No matter how accurate you are, we see in part. I forgot to tell you that. That even after you have received the grace to see, you will see in part. That means the word of God that is wholesome and complete and entire must vet your visions, must vet your dreams, must vet your creativity, must vet your prophetic experiences. That way, go and listen to my message, the value of encounters. There is the prophetic dimension of the word that immunes you and stops you from getting into error. Many people pray their way to visions, but because they did not honor scripture, they started seeing things that misled them. Some of you have seen people like that. They start acting as if they are having a mental condition. It was prayer that took them there and they did not have respect for scripture. They now start, you see them misbehaving. They start talking to themselves. They will not take their bath for days. They will start looking as if they are mad people. Eventually, they will get them on admission in the hospital. I have to tell you as a responsible man of God, that when you are open to the vistas of the spirit, it is a very vast realm. What gives you stability is your respect for scripture. Otherwise, your eyes will see a lot of things. The devil will manipulate you to sleep and see someone carrying the form of your mother, lifting a knife, and you will get up and say, Ah, so my mother is the person behind this. And Satan has succeeded in cheating you. He took advantage of the opening of your eyes. As an, an, an innocent woman who loved you and nurtured you, you will begin to hate her. This is the number one problem with the prophetic ministry. Their inability to save their experiences and vet it from the lens of scripture. There are many people today who are called witches and wizards. There are many sincere family members that have come at loggerheads because some apostle or some prophet said, this one is this. I believe that there is witchcraft. But there are many people, an innocent husband and a wife, and suddenly they make the wife hate her husband. I see that this guy wants to destroy you. Interpreting visions has a protocol. There's no time for that now. But you need to learn to see your visions. There are many things you will see that are not necessary. You dump them and focus on that which is consistent. Everything you see does not have to be interpreted. When you are mining gold, you will fetch sand. A lot of other things will come. Push them away. You are looking for gold. Hallelujah. I'm saying this so that you don't create another kind of error. And for someone who is watching, I have to bring this balance as we wrap up. Everything you see, no matter how sure you think you see or saw, make sure 
that you open up in scripture and if it is a revelation that would demand you taking destiny steps seek godly counsel by the privilege of God's grace we are here to help don't stand up and suddenly say you know what I had a vision and in that vision the Lord said I should leave my job as a breadwinner of 10 the one who takes care of 10 people before you take that step seek godly counsel there are people that God has washed their eyes with eyes self. They can see and say, this is not what it means. Be careful. Do not take a wrong step and destroy your spouse and destroy your husband and destroy your children and destroy your parents. I'm saying this as we close because there have been people, I can tell you through the years, I've been involved with people who because of the, the depth of their prayer life, meditation, word study, their eyes became open. Some of those people will get up in the night and start trekking no shoes to the river and tell them a spirit, someone appeared. I know one gentleman, he's now late, long dead. The guy used to go through story. By 4, 8, 4 p.m., he would enter one building they used to use as an auditorium. He would sit down there because he said there was an angel, some feminine angel that used to come to him that they will sing together. She takes him out in the spirit and takes him to various places around Nigeria. This guy started isolating himself from people. He started behaving like somebody who was having a medical condition. I mean what I'm saying. He got into depression because he was like nobody else was his friend. He claimed they used to sing together with that being. I remember interviewing the guy and I said, describe for me the being. Once he started doing that, I said, you are, you are meeting with a familiar spirit. Oh, but she tells me good things. Behave yourself, respect parents. I said, you don't know Satan. That gentleman today has passed on to glory. Years ago, it is true. So I'm saying this so that believers don't blindly go and start writing everything and executing them verbatim. What was written was written so that it will not be changed. Your visions can be altered. I taught you here that it is written is greater than I saw. It is written is greater than I heard. If you can respect the word of God, then your seeing becomes profitable. It is not everything I've seen that is from God. It is not everything I've seen as a man of God that is worth executing. When I pass them through the lens of God's word, I find some of them wanting and I just hang them there until I grow higher to vet them again or until I dump them because I do not believe in them. You must have the maturity to respect the word of God and no matter how accurate your insights are, let them pass through the sieve of the word and then you have created a safety net for your excelling. Please rise up on your feet. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah.